Woo. Hello. We're here. We've made it. It's time. It's time, Clive. Ah, uh, look at him. He's ready, dude. Arms crossed. He's like, what are we doing? We have to leave. Um, We do have to leave. It's time, dude. It's the end. It's the grand, grand finale. It is. It's over. I'm reading these. And then... Oh, my God. Why is there so much to read? And we got to talk to people. And then it'll be over. The wages of fate. Do you remember what you told me that night at Phoenix Gate? That while the fate of Rosario sits on my shoulders, the fate of his dominance sits upon yours. But are we not both dominance of fire? Does not the flame of our forebears burn in both our hearts? Should I not protect you as you have protected me? You have chosen to be my shield. Now let me choose to be yours. Is this not what our father wanted? Father? <laughs> What Sid wanted? To cast aside fate and forge your own paths? Grant me this, Clive. Let me be your strength. Joshua. Oh my goodness. It feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. That afternoon on Man's Hill was our very first adventure. But somehow, I knew even then that it would be our last. I will never forget that day. And the simple fact that you have not... What? The simple fact that you have not either fills my heart with... A joy so fierce I cannot describe it. Huh? And the simple fact that you have not either fills my heart with a joy so fierce I cannot describe it. What? Since the since the moment we first met, you have always been an important part of me. The half that makes me whole. When times are darkest, you are my light. When I am lost, you are my guiding star. You are just what I need. You are all that I need. You are the greatest gift. Wow, Clive. Good old Cliver. Uh, I will never forget that day and the simple fact that you have not either fills my heart. I feel like there should be a comma after either. Fills my heart with a joy so fierce I cannot describe it. Okay, I, f I got it. Took me a minute to understand that. The two of you have been together for what feels like a lifetime now. There's still a lot you have to learn about that hound of yours. Aye, he'd step in front of a bloody raging behemoth if it means if it meant protecting you. That don't mean you should take it for granted. At the end of the day, he's a hound, and sometimes he just wants to pat his head. He just wants someone to pat his head and rub his belly and give him a handful of coupon nuts. You do good to remember that. Karen. A new day. This guy likes wrestling. I am not so foolish to believe that a single shaming at the hands of the town urchins can dispel a lifetime of hatred built up in one's heart. Just as a pot cannot be made clean by reminding it of its grime. It takes effort, persistence, and more often than not, a stiff brush and bucket of lye. But more than that, it takes time. Fortunately, your courage and leadership has granted us just that. We must now decide whether to embrace it, to embrace or to waste it. A wise man once said the night is always darkest before dawn. It is a good thing that... It's a good thing then I count one who burns so bright amongst my friends. Lubo. Wow. Here, not long removed from when you last placed yourself between us and peril, I sit and pen yet another letter in which I try and find the words to somehow express the gratitude of an entire town. Still, sometimes something feels different about our latest triumph. Where in the past we leaned ever so heavily upon your good graces, this time we found strength elsewhere in ourselves. Our hardship has shown us that which should have been apparent all along. We are not as different as we want to believe. Does a pe peasant love his homeland any less than a noble? Does a bearer love his family any less than another man does his own? Is this love that he is, that has united us and given us true strength? Should every thrall, Akashic bandit, and brigand in the realm come charging our gates, we will not fret. We will not falter. We will fight. And we will win. Isabel. That's how she talks. Ah! Dude, I'm reading a, a whole novel. Oh, I hate... These guys are fine. But... Whatever, dude. I don't like them. I write to thank you for the kind consideration you have shown for those whose names are written within the pages of the Book of Martyrs. I know that it would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the phoenix laments their passing. 
Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in service of the Phoenix, I do not doubt that those who are taken before their time go with regret for the long years of duty left undone. That they should live on in the memory of a proud son of Rossfield, House Rossfield, such as yourself, shall surely go some way to soothing their sorrows. May the Phoenix's flame ever burn in your heart, Cyril, bearer of the burning quill. Thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from his mortal coil. Contrary to what the madding crowd believes, we physicers are not without our limits. I cannot hope to cure every ill, mend every wound, save every life. The only medicine that will see you home safe without fail is prevention. Not that this knowledge will ever stop you from chasing down Behemoth for its toenails. Oh. Talia. What? You didn't think I were just saying that stuff about hiding my engine, did you? Wouldn't you know I've already a fine spot picked out everything and everything. But if you're going to go on this grand adventure, you'll need to be quick about your business with that ruddy god of yours. Take too long and somebody more clever might beat you on to the prize. I suppose in that case I could bury you one of my lesser inventions. Goddess knows I've countless. Mid. <sighs> Clive. It occurs to me that a single word of thanks does not nearly suffice to express my gratitude for uniting me with from a distance. The two made me who I am today, and yet I thought that I should never set eyes upon it again, that those who took it from me had forever robbed me of a part of myself. But now I am a whole again thanks to you. I regret that I can only fill gaps, fill in the gaps in your knowledge, and not the holes in your soul, for which reason I shall ever be in your debt. Holes in your soul? The Triunity. Bringing together three dif three men from differing backgrounds was not to be without some difficulty. However, come together we did for a better Valisthea. The Triunity was but a first step. A longer, more bitter journey awaits us all. One that will almost certainly end in hardship. Yet what matters most is not the destination, but what we can learn from one another while on the road there. You have paved that road for us with your courage, Clive. Now we must have the courage to walk it. Your loving uncle, Byron. <sighs> it's enough of that. She got something new to say. Clive, do you have a moment? Sure do. Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. Red is the color of passion, <clears throat> the fire in your heart. Fierce and bright, it binds you and your brother, you and your friends, you and me. Our bond. May it never be broken. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. Dang, that was nice. Thanks, Jill. Was that an accessory? No. What'd she give us? She gave us a velvet handkerchief. Uh, where would that even go? It's just like an item. Oh. Nice. He's not wearing it. It's not in here? Oh, it is in here. 
Oh, no, it isn't. There's still two empty spots. Okay. Alright, that guy's good. Blacksmith's good, dude. Yeah. What's up, man? He's good. Botanist is good. Orchestrian, who cares? Karen, we don't want to do the DLC. Let's talk to our uncle. I think I talked to him last time. I don't suppose you're here to reprise the saint and I am um, man. These not being voiced. As for down here. That's so weird. Do you know why? <laughs> was not 20 summers past. Your mother. The... But above all. And so you see. Oh, okay. That's my boy. Annabella ruined everything. I was wondering when next you'd visit. Oh. Nothing? We're good on those, dude. Thank you for indulging in a uh, What does he got to say about Dion? His knowledge lost, I well recall. He truly believed. It will take forgiveness. From himself. Uh, he wants his flower to Don't bloom again. Me. Wait. Samson? Sid, did you know that chocobos are far more resilient to the effects of Ethan than most other beasts? Some say that's one of the reasons they were tamed for use as mounts and sumters. So that an ether flood wouldn't mean instant death for their riders or drivers. Me, I reckon they built it up over generations. Too many foolish traders driving their birds into floods, and only the toughest surviving. Oh, yeah. There was nobody important. We don't gotta talk to them. Dang. We're good. Oh my gosh, we're actually... Days, I swear it's gonna be me who drinks you under the table. If by under the table you mean retching on my boots half the night, I reckon one of those days was yesterday. Ha ha, you think you're so funny. But just wait till we crack open the bottle I left in your chambers. That stuff's strong enough to burn the horns off a behemoth. Sounds like I'll be needing some new boots. New boots. Hold on, I gotta adjust my mic. Okay, gotta get comfortable. Dude, it's it's the end. I'm pretty sure Vivian doesn't have anything to say, but we'll we'll double check. Well we talk to Otto. No, nothing. I know you'll do right by us, Clive. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back. I gotta do hunts. Come again. I may have more for ya. How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? We've done it. Seen enough? Okay. Let me talk to that blacksmith one more time. Let's talk to her. What will it be today? Nothing. Godspeed.
We talked to Dion. We don't want to start the DLC. <laughs> so what do I owe Dion? I'm afraid I'll get real. I'd like. I kind of want to do it, but I, no, dude. Dark Steel and a primitive battle horn. You think that's from Behemoth? Well, one of them's from Behemoth. Maybe the battle horn. Behemoth King. Just try and fight that guy. End. Or ended. We'll try and fight that guy. Let's try and fight that guy real quick. We don't need to go anywhere. Uh, just look at the map. Uh, was he here? No, it'll show up on the map. Was it in this area? No, it wasn't in this area. Was it in this area? No. Yes. Okay. Okay, we have potions. He's right there. Everyone's here. Joshua, Jill, Torgal. It's a grand finale. We're gonna mess it up by fighting this guy. Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. Just wasting potions. Nice. Oh, I suck at dodging his hands.
Man, that Maelstrom is dangerous because I'm using mine. Damn, I'm shocked that I didn't game over. Okay. Wow. No match for you, I told her. We didn't get anything for our weapon. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I didn't even try to look anything up. Um. Let's refill. Let's refill, dude. Okay. That was cool, dude. I should do all the hunts. Just not right now. Let's just beat the game. Let's just beat the game. This is this is a grand finale. Hooray. Still alive, we got a behemoth yeah? fight. Oh god, I must Go on then. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Okay. This is all. That's all. They have another letter, dude. What? We gotta read it. I read all the other ones. Thank you, Clive, for ever indulging the whims of this doddering old soul. I'm ashamed that f I'm ashamed that for far too many years I have followed stubbornness and feared. 
I have allowed stubbornness and fear to keep me from something so simple as a, letting a friend know how proud I was of him. Your, inter your interventions, dude, I can't talk. Your intervention has lifted a heavy pall from my heart. Perhaps upon your triumphant return from the skies, you might be inclined to set to page that quill I gifted you. There are many of us who would hear a first-hand account of your time with the Holy Prince, myself included, Harpocrates the Second. Edda seems fond of the silver bow we gave her. So much so much so she's been talking to setting it up. Ugh. So much so she's been talking to setting it atop her belly as she rests. To hear her tell it the rascal kicks something fierce when she does too. Sounds like we've another fighter on our hands and none too soon. I can hardly wait to teach our newest little curse breaker everything I know, though I suppose we can all celebrate first. No need to get ahead of ourselves now, Gav. Good old Gava. Ifrit, you have my sincerest gratitude for reuniting me with Master Harpocrates, that I might embark upon this most important of journeys, my heart free of regret. Though in these past few moons, I have come to realize that the longer I spend in the company of you and your brother, the deeper I find myself in your debt. We must swiftly, swiftly see the menace that is Ultima, if not to save the world, to save me from my eternity of recompense. Dion. Love Dion. Okay. That's what he wrote. We're going! Oh my gosh! Oh shit. Oh my god. If you see my dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mid. <laughs> we'll see. So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? <laughs> we'll be back. Thank you, Yote. I'm sorry. Your grace, I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before. So just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. If that is all? Not quite. Ah. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. He's not coming? And you. You take care of her too, boy. I 
Don't forget, Clyde. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I know. I love you too. to kill. Oh. Oh, Torgal. Whew. Good stuff. I cracked up when she said I know. <laughs> Damn. Gosh, dude, this looks fucking awesome, dude. So Dion learned to control it. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, between this and Seven Remake, my hard drive's just gonna be full. A rebirth. So this is origin. 
far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered. Here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count. Yeah! Damn. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button.
What? No. And you only surrender. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. No. No. Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. No, oh, I'll be all right. And the other. you I'll be
Come on. Thank you. Whoa. Press on. Always. Wanted to look around, dude. It's not really letting me. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm sorry about Dion. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. Because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. That light, so cold, so empty. We're close, aren't we? It uh, seems that way. But I don't want to think what could be waiting for us in there. Then think instead of those waiting for us at home. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. Oh, I'm not in control. self-preservation you condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death alone him alone life I think I understand he It 
was me. But it wasn't my grasp that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. What the fuck? of Ifrit and the healing flames of the phoenix this I once believed would be Ultima's true form but I was wrong I see it now why you will never become Ultima's vessel I don't care just hold on listen to me Clive Remember the murals. People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you're... Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. No. Look at me. Look at me, Joshua. 
<laughs> Open your eyes! Open your eyes, Damien! <laughs> Why? Why did you do this? Don't run. Don't you run. And thus does the final piece fall into place. Whoa. The incantation primed, but one task remains. To empty the vessel. <sighs> that Clive, man, he's a pretty good voice actor. Oh man, I had the thing. Dang, I didn't realize I had him halfway already.
Wow. Unexpected. How is it that your will yet endures? Because it's not so easily broken. But it can be broken. And I shall see it so. For such is my will. Try it. Gah! Gah! Too high up. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Once perhaps, but we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one. We're burning. Damn 
Wound is the slave who turns dirt upon his master. Wow. I doubt shit, dude. What? I feel like I'm dodging all these, dude. Doing my combo. Whoa. Oh. 
Dude, I can't dodge anything. Okay. Oh, you gotta be close to him for that. moment the blight exposed what you were weak you conceived us to prove otherwise but the results shook you to the core for in us you saw yourself and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be and so you turned your back on your creation your back on the world like the coward you are you think you know me you know nothing logos nothing <laughs> In light, I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. We have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. 
What a waste that was. Totally missed. Who said that? This is incredible. Oh my gosh. He's in the air.
Yell bead. And yet still you cannot see. You are no better than us. We are one and the same. We are not the same. No man might stand
Oh man, this music is awesome, dude. Everything about this is pretty good. Man, imagine you could fall off the edges. They'd be messed up. Like an extreme version of this. FF14 extreme. Oh my god, that suck. That was amazing. Holy shit, dude. Oh.
Now that you have gained your precious freedom. I honestly don't know. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Why? It's who we are. We fight. We survive. We endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon, ever out of reach, and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. My congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity on its blackened husk. Yeah, what's gonna stop the blight? This guy? Killing this guy? We thought it was the mother crystals, like destroying all of them would end it. We got Ultima power now. Oh shit.
It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. For what I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, magic. Consigned to the flames. Even if it means the end of me. Whoa, nice water. What? Credits. Oh, didn't Sid say that he wanted to free everyone so they can go out on their own terms or something like that? Man. That was good. A sky of scattered tears, a thousand years apart. Should they fade, I will not be afraid of the dark. If you need a rest, I can take it. I'll 
to you today. what Sid wanted. That's what they both wanted. journey end.
11. That was online. Is it better than 10? 10's got Lulu, dude. Lulu, but it also has Waka, so that's like 10 points down. It's got Lulu. Um, this has... I mean, this has the icons. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if it's better than 10. Is it better than 9? I did not like 9 when it came out. I beat it. Um, I was disappointed in it. I didn't like the art style because, like, 7 was my first Final Fantasy. So I wanted the more realistic art style or, like, regular-looking characters, not the blocky. They didn't look good in 9 with the cinematics I don't know that's people love that game but then I played it again recently and uh yeah it's pretty good it's up there it's beautiful dude like the pre-render backgrounds are probably the best looking out of I don't know out of the 3 out of 78 and 9 for the pre-renders like it man it looks really nice I also like the music it's it's good Okay, nine is up there. Nine's really good. Ah, uh, eight. I also really like eight. The music in eight is top. It's really good, dude. Uh, the Odin, the spot where you get Odin, that music, that music's pretty good. I think it's fine. No, it's not find our way. That's like the battle music. I forget. That one's great. I liked eight a lot. Uh, I thought the final boss was pretty good. Ultimacia. First time I fought her, she was really hard. Because I was a dumb kid. Um, but I beat her. Uh, seven. I mean, seven is amazing, dude. Pioneered. The PlayStation, pretty much. That and Metal Gear. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This game's pretty good. Don't ask me about Final Fantasy 1 through 6. Just don't. Because I got I got halfway through 6. I didn't beat I didn't finish it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll finish it eventually. Someday, when they remake it. In 20 years or whatever. We'll get there, dude. Those remasters. They uh they patched one through six on Steam finally to match the uh, the consoles. Good for them. Text options. You need those. Although pe people were modding it, so it's not like it really mattered. But for Steam Deck, it's easier. You know, you don't gotta worry about modding. Going into desktop mode. Man, when is this gonna be on PC, dude? I want to see this blown out. 60 FPS, all times. They would be awesome. They blew it out for 15. They did, like... I think they added ray tracing to 15 eventually. I think. That could be wrong. I thought they did, though. I forgot to look it up. Did they? Although I guess there's stuff now where you could just put ray tracing in anything. Depending on your uh, video card. Mm. It does have ray tracing. But it performs poorly. Now it says there is no ray tracing. I don't know. You know the internet. It's so unreliable now. What? Someone added ray tracing to Final Fantasy XIV? Uh, is it better than Final Fantasy XIV? No. Nothing's better than Final Fantasy XIV. It is the best Final Fantasy ever made. Duh. Everyone fucking knows that. Literally, and my dog knows that, dude. Because she's watched me play it for hundreds of and hundreds of hours. Probably a thousand. Uh, yeah, dude. 
Man, if you like this game, just play Final Fantasy XIV. It's the MSQ, the main story, it's free from till... Dude, I think it's free to Shadowbringers now. No way. Maybe when uh, Dawn Trail launches? Dude, that'd be crazy. If they add a Shadowbringers to the trial? Dude, Shadowbringers is like... You could probably stop at Shadowbringers, although you wouldn't want to, dude, because Endwalker's just right there. I don't think it's in the trial. Stormblood is for sure, though. Um, Stormblood's good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, no. Just six... Just Stormblood. If it included Shadowbringers, that'd be nuts. That's like practically the whole game. Stormblood's pretty good, though. They give you Samurai? Wow. Anyway, yeah, you can play that free trial. You could probably just play it up to Heaven's Word and get enough out of it. But I mean, you could just keep going in Stormblood. Then you'd be like, oh, you know, Stormblood was just okay. It's not just okay, it's actually really good. But as far as on the tiers of expansions go, it's... The, the patch content was... I'd say it was pretty top tier, actually. But um, the MSQ was a little... It was a little slow, but it also has good moments. I liked it. Shadowbringers, at the time, love Shadowbringers. I don't know, though, if I still do. I might like Stormblood. I just like uh, the setting of Stormblood. I think that's pretty good. Why am I talking about 14 so much? Dude, we just beat 16. Ah, both great games. Uh, man, an MMO team made this game, and you can tell in some ways. Uh, the combat. I like the combat in this game. I thought it was pretty good. I don't think I'm very good at it. I think uh, people could probably make it more interesting to watch than me. They actually do good combos. But I couldn't find like my loadout. I don't think Odin was it. I don't know. Music, man. Oh, the music in this game was awesome. Definitely up there. I, man. The music gets better and better with each game that comes out, I think. That's not true. Is it true? I don't know. I think, like... I don't know, man. It's true for... I don't know. I don't know, dude. I want to say it's almost true for 14. Every expansion that comes out has better music except for the heavens word theme that's probably the best music so it's made he's made so much good music though this game has also some of his best music probably the battle theme is pretty good in this game it's always a good thing to have Web developers, huh? What is this view, I wonder? Like, what is the background? We're not skipping it. Is there two hours long? Clive and Joshua are actually dead. You think so? Wait, yeah, didn't Platinum do the combat system for this game or something? No. No Rossfield heirs? Unless Clive and Jill made one beforehand? I don't know.
Luminous Productions. Doesn't Square own them? Isn't that just like another Final Fantasy studio? I don't remember. Seven Rebirth is next. Oh my gosh. The opening to that game is something else. Holy moly. I really liked it. I saw it. Uh, yeah. I hope it's good. I hope I like it. I'm sure it's good. I just hope I like it. Hope I'm not burned out. After playing this, I don't think so. I'm ready. Blue ball. Who's Kai Hell? I don't remember who that is. Oh, maybe she was from Dalmil. There's DLC after this. I wonder, uh... Yeah. It must not be set after the game. Um... I kind of don't like when they do that. <laughs> like, if they're dead, dude, I don't want to play this anymore. That's how it was with 15 for me. Plus, you know, that game just sucked. And it was like 15 hours long. Uh, maybe 20. 20 to 30. 15 if you rush the main story. Yeah. I'll play the DLC eventually. I wonder what Leviathan will be like. But... Yeah, I don't know. Why do you... Why, this doesn't need DLC. This is... This is a long-ass game, dude. I guess they want to get Leviathan in. Because they mentioned Leviathan the Lost. Well, Joshua did. Jim Ryan. Boo. <laughs> Sony, huh?
Man, these are long, huh? <laughs> it took a lot of people to make the game. That's a lot, dude. You think they broke even, dude? On all of these people? I hope so. can't like uh oh you can rush them okay we'll just you know just a little bit faster just a little bit just a little bit faster dang dude that's a lot of people a little bit faster. Holy moly. Oh. CBU3 I think they'll make the next one oh, shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time. Will you light it? Yes, mother. <sighs> Come on. If only I had the flames for an icon. Icon? Have you been reading that silly story again? <laughs> Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil kettles. You see? Well done. Now, be a good lad, and play with your brother until supper. Come on, hurry, hurry! Right. Let's play the saint in the sector. No, I don't want to be mad. What do you want to play then? War of the icons. Again? Um, right. And I get to be a freak. Why? I'm the older brother. Because <laughs> the hermit says so. <laughs> <laughs> What the? What does that mean? Where one journey ends. New data. 
Wow. Look at all those icons. We did it. New game plus. Ah, uh, increased enemy strength. What? Level 105? New gear and items. Mode exclusive content. Like what? Final Fantasy mode. Ultimate weapon is available for crafting. After starting, you'll be unable to switch over to story or action focused mode. Freya, keep it down. Interesting. I kind of want to see what that is. Like right now. <laughs> Following the fall of the Phoenix Gate? You can skip that? Let's see it. Where does it put you? We're going to skip it all. How do they expect us to kill something? Whoa. We have everything. Whoa, look at all those ability points. Do this. They don't. Yeah. Only the girl holding its leash. <sighs> Am I even going to fight anything right now? I don't think so. Hurry up, Clive. All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and then... Alright, you know what? We're good. Oh my gosh, dude. That was Final Fantasy 16. That is a... Uh, heck of a game, dude. Um, heck of a game. You can't just quit. There it is. I'm blind. Heck of a game. I liked it a lot. Um, it's very mashy, the combat. It feels good sometimes. Sometimes it feels bad. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not traditional Final Fantasy, but the story I thought was super good. I mean, Ultima was, he's okay, but it wrapped up nicely. I wish Clive and Joshua didn't die. Although I don't know if Joshua died because it said the book was, was by him. So maybe Clive actually did revive him at the end there when he put his hand over his chest. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That was awesome, though. Man, good job. Good job, Yoshi P. You did it. You made another good Final Fantasy. He's two for two. Psh. Two for two. I mean, you could probably count 14 as like five or six Final Fantasies with all the expansions. Each expansion is like another 100 hour story. That's top quality. Anyway. I'm not trying to sell you on that. Until next time. So long, Clive. So long, Jill, Torgal, Gaffer. Oh. Joshua. Did I say Joshua? Anyway. So long. Thanks so much for watching. Can't believe it. If you made it this far. No way, dude. No way. You crazy. What was your favorite part? <laughs> I don't know my favorite part. I think my favorite part was that first uh, battle between Bahamut and Odin. That cutscene was fucking awesome, dude. Odin on the mountaintop. And yeah. Oh, dude. That shit was sick. And it was like broad daylight. It looked so awesome. That's so much. So many of these cutscenes looked amazing, dude. Just, man.
Good job. Two thumbs up. Both of them. And big toes. Put those up too. Alright. My dog's got to go out. Uh, my Torgle, dude. Even though her name's Freya. Gosh. You're so beautiful, Freya. You know that? You know you're so beautiful, dude? Yeah. Freya. You're so cute, dude. You're so cute. Alright. This was a good game. I don't want to say goodbye to it, but I have to. On to the next one, dude. Enjoy your day. Night. It's nighttime now. I should go to bed. Ugh. So long, Clive. Jill Torgel, Joshua, Gav, again. I can't. I don't want to. I'm going to. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. Ugh.